Hey everyone, you know what time it is. Welcome back. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Today I have a special tutorial for you on a really hot crypto called SafeMoon. Now first of all, I'm going to tell you how to buy the actual coin and then I'm going to give you some information on what the coin actually is after the tutorial. A bit different today I know, but trust me, it's worth knowing. Just to give one short fact, SafeMoon has went up over 70,000% in the last month alone. And with that said, let's get straight into the tutorial. So first of all, you're going to need a secure cryptocurrency app to buy a Binance coin from. What you're going to need to do is you need to open up your Binance app and go to the home option. After you're in the home option, select BNB and you will need to purchase any amount of BNB that you want and have it stored in the Binance account. Now, like I said, you can buy this however you want, but for this example, I'm going to be using fiat currency to buy the BNB. And for this currency, I'm going to be using GDP because that's where I'm from. With that being said, I'll be buying 50 pounds worth of BNB. Now, when that's all complete and you've purchased your BNB, you actually need to send that BNB to a secure cryptocurrency wallet. There are many cryptocurrency wallets that you can actually use to store your BNB. But for this one, I'll be using Trust Wallet. Now Trust Wallet is directly from Binance and it's probably the easiest app to set up to actually store your cryptocurrency. Now while setting up your Trust Wallet, they will give you various steps on how to secure your actual wallet. You should be provided with a set of keywords in a certain order to gain access to your account. Make sure all of these words are locked down fully and kept in a safe place. They will also need to be written down in the order that you are provided. This is very, very important that you store this information correctly because this will give you access to your Trust Wallet account in the future. And without them, you will not be able to gain access correctly. Now, with that being said, let's move on to the next step. The next step after you've set up your Trust Wallet and logged all the information down is to go to the Binance Coin section and click on Receive because you will need to receive the Binance coin from your Binance account into your Trust Wallet. Once you have clicked on Receive, you'll be prompted with an address that you can instantly copy and paste into your Binance app. Once you've copied this address, open up the Binance app and select the BNB option and click on Withdraw. Paste the address that you have copied from your Trust Wallet into the address option that is provided by Binance. Once this is all said and done and you have went through the security checks that Binance provide then go ahead and leave Binance and wait around 10 to 30 minutes for your money to appear into your trust wallet. Now, I've already sent some BNB to my trust wallet. That's why it looks like a different amount from earlier. When your BNB appears in your trust account, it will need to be swapped into BNB Smart Chain. You can do this by clicking on the BNB, then clicking on the More option and then clicking on Swapped to Smart Chain. After this has been done, you can transfer as much as you want over to BNB Smart Chain from your BNB account. And with that said, you have completed the next step. The next step is to go back into the Trust Wallet, go to the bottom selection menu and click on DApps. Once you're in DApps, find the app called PancakeSwap. This should bring you to the PancakeSwap home menu. From there, you will simply need to press connect to connect your trust wallet to the PancakeSwap app. This should automatically link up and enter your user information if done correctly. Now, once this is done, you're entering the final steps to buy your SafeMoon. If you enter the term SafeMoon on PancakeSwap, you will not find anything. What you're going to need to do is go into your main browser and enter coinmarketcap.com. Once you enter coinmarketcap.com, you will need to search the term SafeMoon. Once you have found the SafeMoon page, and make sure it is the correct one, what you will need to do next is click on the Explore Socials link. When you click on that link, you should be provided with an alternative link once entered. This link should say bscscan.com. Once you have copied this link, you will need to return to PancakeSwap and paste that link into the Select a Token section to bring up the SafeMoon coin. Now, when that is done, you will have the address for the SafeMoon coin and you'll be able to select your BNB to swap safely into your SafeMoon. When swapping the BNB, 
The first thing you should do is select the settings option and put your slippage amount from 8 to 11%. Now that will give your transaction a bit more priority over other transactions on the platform. Now when buying your SafeMoon coin, you could come up with an error message. What you would need to do is lower the amount of BNB you're swapping into SafeMoon so that it does not come up with an error message. Keep sizing down your transaction until you do not come up with an error message anymore. An efficient amount to transfer and start off with might be 0.005 into safe moon give that a test and see if it comes up with an error message if it does not then you're all safe and ready to go i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i'll be giving you some more information on safe moon very soon so stay tuned